What's up, family and friends? Someone recently wrote and requested that I make a video and share my views on Ouija boards. Is it real or fake? If it is real, how do they work? I've actually gotten several requests about this subject matter, and although I've never done a video about it, I have written a blog on the subject matter, which is and was published on astrowoobaby.net. So instead of reinventing the wheel, so to speak, I have opted to read what I have written, but I will preface the read by sharing a true backstory. Let me briefly explain what a Ouija board is. This is particularly for those who have never heard of such a thing. A Ouija board is printed with letters, numbers, and other signs to which a movable indicator points supposedly an answer to questions from people at a seance. You know, my first experience with the Ouija board was in the mid-90s when one of my first cousins bought a supposed game as a Christmas gift for her nine-year-old daughter. And prior to that experience, I was aware of these boards, but I never thought much about them one way or the other. So anyway, my cousin who bought the game and two other relatives and a family friend asked if I would like to try the game out. I agreed. We sat at a small table in the living room and gently placed our fingers on the indicator and just allowed whatever would come through, come through. Right away, we pulled in a very powerful but friendly force. The force was so strong as it guided our hands across the board that our bodies were like putty in the hands of whoever whatever came through. There was definitely an intelligence there guiding our hands to spell out responses to our questions with great precision and clarity. The first time I didn't feel anything negative, actually none of us did. However, it was after the second time that we used the board that I felt a very negative and hostile presence. The presence even pinched one of my relatives. It was at this point that I knew not only was this something that we should not be playing with, let alone a nine-year-old child, but no one who isn't really knowledgeable and skilled in this respective area. After the second experience, my cousin put the game away and eventually threw it in the trash after I basically begged her to. Neither of us have since used a Ouija board again. Of course, now that I'm older and have experienced and learned so much regarding the hidden and metaphysical nature of reality, I have a broader view of what is going on and how these things work. So this leads me to the blog that I had written on the subject matter on February 14th, 2014. The question sent to me by a viewer was, Astro Boo Baby, what or how did you explain the Ouija board? I had an experience and I have seen multiple people who also have had experiences. In your opinion, is this a hoax or does it have any metaphysical validity? My response, the Ouija board is a real conduit for spirits and entities vibrating outside of this frequency or bandwidth to interact or communicate through us within our present vibratory frequency slash bandwidth. One can say that when we sit down and use a Ouija board, we are pretty much agreeing to allow our energy or vessels to be conduits for communication in this regard. How does it work? Well, before I really answer that question, please keep in mind that our bodies are mostly water, and this was by intelligent design because water is a necessary component for spirit, energy, and consciousness to flow fluidly within this dense reality. Water is also a perfect conductor of electricity and electromagnetic energy, which is a huge part of what we are in our purest form. Therefore, it is through the water within our vessels that these outside forces direct and communicate with us, sort of like how neurons are sent from the brain to move our fingers, hands, and body. The Ouija board summons opens portals, 
and gateways by way of the body or bodies and energy of the person or persons who has set forth the intent to do so. Spirits and beings can merge their consciousness with our bodies and send electrical signals to move or direct us in a certain way, but as it relates to the Ouija board, the being or beings is directing the motion to spell the appropriate words that corresponds to the questions asked or whatever information that they wish to communicate. Here's the potential danger in using Ouija boards. If our minds are not strong or if there is a crack in our auric field, an entity can project a portion of their energy or consciousness into our sphere and can continuously influence or even possess the host. For this reason alone, I advise people who are not knowledgeable of the metaphysical or those who obsessively drink alcohol, do drugs, eat a lot of meat, have sex with multiple partners, promiscuous, hateful, hostile, selfish, or those who have any form of disease. Do not play with or use these boards. Such persons can easily attract or magnetize a force that would only feed off of or into their present condition. And let's say that this will not manifest anything pretty or beneficial for the host. Now the bottom line for this for me is that unless you are highly knowledgeable and skilled in dealing with spirits and the unseen realm, I cannot stress this enough, this is not something that anyone should be playing with. And it is definitely not something that should be given to a child. Alright, that's all I have to say on the matter. If you would like to read more of my blogs on a vast array of subject matters as well as some very good entries by members both past and present, I will provide a link below as all blogs on astrobluebaby.net is open for public view and interaction.